Freshman number eight, Cole Ratcliffe. South Union Township Sports Network, in cooperation with Atlantic Broadband and the South Union Township Supervisors, presents the South Union Township Sports Network live this evening from Bill Power Stadium, home of the Uniontown Red Raiders. It's high school boys' soccer time as the Laurel Highlands Mustangs take on Uniontown. Hi, everybody. I'm Brian Morozak with Jerry Dupan. We welcome you aboard for this evening's boys' soccer game, South Union Township Sports Network coverage. Brock is a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiff Bauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and our friends at CUTV, including Gary Smith. Got a Brian Morozak with Jerry Dupay. Let's take a look at the lineups for both of these teams. We'll start first with the Uniontown Red Raiders. They'll play a 4-5-1 today with Wyatt Nails in goal, Cooper Gilliland, Isaac Conklin, and Christian Thomas on the back line along with Levi Gilliland. Five midfielders include Parker King, Ethan Roebuck, Cal Hospodavis, Sam Fitzpatrick, and Grant Barczyk on the right wing. Riley Umble, the lone striker. For the Laurel Highlands Mustangs, they'll play a 4-3-3 today with Luke Simpson in goal, Cooper Hunt, Ian Hamilton, Caleb Yanoski, and Kate Rulva Kaba on the back line. The midfield will have Ryan Rockwell, Harry Radcliffe, and Tim Lasick. The front line consists of Cole Radcliffe, Courtney Weston, and Thatcher Wilson. Laurel Highlands 15-4 a season ago. They went 11-3 in conference play. Jerry Rogers, the head coach of the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. Uniontown a season ago went 4-13 overall, but 0-13 in conference play. Scott Fitzpatrick, the head coach of the Uniontown Red Raiders. Laurel Highlands putting their 32-game win streak over Uniontown on the line tonight. Uniontown hasn't won a game against Laurel Highlands since 2004. Mustangs opening up their season here tonight. Also have a home conference game coming up on Thursday night against the Thomas Jefferson Jaguars. And they'll also be participating in the Fayette County Tournament this weekend, taking on Beth Center and Bentworth. Junior number 18, Sam the Laser Fitzpatrick. Uniontown starters being introduced right now. Red Raiders in their away, check that in their home maroons with white numbers. Laurel Highlands with their away whites with blue numbers and red pants. Junior number 11, Parker King. Final few Uniontown starters being introduced right now. And we'll get our second of two underway. In just a moment, the Laurel Highlands girls defeated Uniontown 6 to nothing earlier on tonight. Going back to last year, looking at the two meetings between these two schools. Laurel Highlands won at home against Uniontown back on September the 23rd of last year, 8 to nothing. They met again on October the 12th here at Uniontown. Mustangs won that game 7 to nothing. We'll pause for just a moment for the National Anthem.
And we're set to play soccer tonight from Bill Power Stadium in Uniontown, the Uniontown Red Raiders and the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. Brian Morozak alongside Jerry Dupay. Nice to have you along with us here on the South Union Township Sports Network tonight. One of four conference games going on in Section 3 and 3A. Albert Gallatin at Ringgold, Bethel Park at Thomas Jefferson, and Connellsville at Trinity. Other conference games going on this evening. Laurel Highlands a season ago finished in second place in the conference at 11-3. Actually had a great chance to win the conference coming down the stretch. A couple of games didn't go their way late. Thomas Jefferson finished at 11-1-2. Laurel Highlands in a second place tie with Bell Vernon at 11-3. Trinity picked up the final playoff spot in the conference at 9-3-2. Again, Uniontown with four wins, but all outside the conference. They went 0-13 in conference play. Again, the last Uniontown win over Laurel Islands back in 2004. That was a non-conference game. Uniontown actually played in 3A, Laurel Highlands in 2A. And that Laurel Highlands team made the playoffs and lost to South Park in the first round. A lot of new faces on both of these teams, especially on the Laurel Highlands side. And you'll have Courtney Weston getting things started here for the Mustangs. Laurel Highlands working left to right as we describe it. Weston, center striker, junior for the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. On the front line with Cole Radcliffe and Thatcher Wilson. Two Radcliffe's in the starting lineup for the Mustangs. Harry in the center mid, he has it right now with a good blast down on the far side and Cole on the front line. Cole only a freshman. And a big spot for him. And the Mustangs go quickly here. Uniontown trying to knock it down. A little collision here through the midfield and Harry picking it up again, a little scoop forward and that one ruled off sides. He's talking to Laura Highlands head coach. Jerry Rogers Sr. before the start of the game was actually giving me a little bit of a hard time going back to Friday's Laurel Highlands football game against Uniontown. Late in the first half, I think the Mustangs had a fourth and 17 at the 35-yard line, and I commented that you really have to go for it here because you can't kick a field goal. Well, they didn't try it then, but of course in the second half, Harry Radcliffe hit a 53-yard field goal, setting a new Laurel Highlands school record. Told me I should have had confidence in the kid then. <laughs> Again, congratulations to Harry for his accomplishment on Friday night. Now trying to keep it going here on the pitch tonight. And a good run from his brother Cole on the far side. Scooped up by the Red Raiders keeper, Wyatt Nails. Yes, folks, we have of course, you might remember Wyatt from the Uniontown baseball team this past spring. Pretty good slugger. For the Red Raiders of Uniontown. Now trying to block some of those balls here on the pitch tonight. That one played down the field by Cooper Gilland on the Uniontown side. Red Raiders looking for a little run here early. Grant Barchak on the run down the far side. He's a starting kicker on the Uniontown football team, playing three sports here in the fall, also on the cross-country team, so... To say he's been busy is an understatement. A little touch there from Uniontown's Isaac Conklin. Mustangs trying to counterattack, trying to set up Ryan Rockwell on the near side. And certainly a feeling out process early. And for the Mustangs, trying to put together a new combination. And after losing a lot to graduation, there's Rockwell. It's on sides down the near wing. Ryan Rockwell looking for the cross and a good block there from Christian Thomas. Another good baseball player on the Uniontown side. One of the soccer captains, senior defender. Be a corner kick less than three minutes in. Harry Radcliffe to take it. Pretty good crowd on hand tonight as Harry... Sends it to the top of the 18. Attempted header there from Thatcher Wilson. Played back to Cole Radcliffe. 
And deflected out will be a Uniontown throw-in. Or check that Aurora Highlands throw-in as Cooper Hunt will take it. Into Thatcher Wilson. Will poke down on the far side again, trying to free up Cole Radcliffe. Goes to the top of the 18. Red Raiders try to play it out. Settled back down by Caton Rulvacaba. We saw his sister Jaden in goal for the Laurel Highlands girls earlier on tonight. Played the entire first half, blanking Union Town. Free kick here for the Mustangs from 35 yards out. It'll be Harry Radcliffe to take it. Harry with the blast right on goal. Nice save from Wyatt Nails. Nails takes it out to the top of the box. Nice boot back to center. Plenty of height on that one. Body down by Ian Hamilton. Always stellar on the back line for the Mustangs. A little collision there between Uniontown's Cal Hospa Davids and the Red Raiders' Thatcher Wilson. We play on. Mustangs looking for another break. Cole Radcliffe is there, but the Red Raiders lob it back in the direction of Ryan Rock. Or check that of uh, Riley Umble. Umble with a little touch back on the far side over to Grant Barcheck. Back to Riley. And Ian Hamilton. Plays it back in the direction of Luke Simpson, the Mustang starting keeper this year. Up the field to Tim Lasick. Bodied down there by Cole Radcliffe and lobbed back over Ryan Rockwell. Tried to head it back. There's Christian Thomas on the Uniontown side. Out of his own zone there. Caleb Janoski for Laurel Highlands, but the Red Raiders a little break. Poke from Riley Umble. Mustangs back line knocks it down. And we'll throw in here from Isaac Conklin. Conklin down the near boundary. Defending there for Laurel Highlands is Janoski. Let it go out. Goal kick upcoming. And Uniontown will make the first changes of the night. A couple of subs coming in on the far side. It's Ram 10 checking in number 10. Two coming out are Riley Umble and Parker King. The other new entry is Rocco Fuhrer, number three. The Scott Fitzpatrick squad trying to keep some fresh legs. Special birthday wishes. There's Harry Radcliffe. Good lob forward. Brought down by Courtney Weston. And then on to Cole Radcliffe. Looking for his first varsity goal into the box. Save there, Wyatt Nails. So a good break there from the Mustangs. You had Cole there, Thatcher Wilson, all contributing. And Nails standing tall on the Uniontown side. There's Harry knocking it down. Played back to center. Cal Hospa Davids. A little slow roller back in Luke Simpson's direction. Simpson on a little line drive coming back, looking for Harry Radcliffe. Sam Fitzpatrick there on the Uniontown side. Also wearing the captain's armbands with the shot on goal. Another save from Simpson. About seven and a half minutes in. Match still scoreless. There's Sam Fitzpatrick. And going down there, Cooper Gilland on the Uniontown side. Set up Kate and Rulva Caba. The throw in here for Laurel Highlands. Rulva Caba down the near boundary. Might have went off the back of Ryan Rockwell. Was deflected last by a Red Raider going out. Harry Radcliffe to take the throw in. Down the near side, a little header there. The Red Raiders defensively, that was Isaac Conklin. 
The ball goes over the far boundary and out for another Mustang corner kick. As Harry Ratcliffe will take it. Harry puts it down. Good little lob. Wyatt Nails going for it. Can't find it. It's deflected in. I think Ian Hamilton got it there for the Mustangs. So Ian Hamilton, who's been great off of corners in his Mustang career, claims it. And Laurel Highlands a one to nothing lead here at the 31-31 mark of the first half. So Harry Radcliffe set it up. And after a little pinball action in the box, Hamilton claims it. And the Mustangs strike first, up one to nothing. And a solid week for the Radcliffe's continues. As Harry with the service there. Sister Jocelyn had a goal earlier on tonight as well. And now Cole looking for a run here. Gets played back and sent wide on that shot attempt by Courtney Weston. Just over nine minutes in. Wyatt nails. Sends it off on the far side. Touch from Levi Gilliland. Mustangs chipped it out of play. Uniontown reloads again. Played back to center. Mustangs reset on their defensive line. Hamilton a touch over to Kate and Rulvacaba. Lob back here in open space. Courtney Weston on the run, but the play ruled offside. Almost 10 minutes in. Hamilton, the lone goal on the Laurel Highland side. Levi Gilland on this free kick. He's trying to angle it for Rocco Fuhrer. Got deflected down by Caton Rulva Caba. Skying there and picking up the infraction will be Caleb Janoski. Right central defender for the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. Joe Walko's in the box tonight. It was good to see Joe. Free kick there from Sam Fitzpatrick. Going wide of the keeper, Luke Simpson. And Simpson to take the goal kick. He'll go short off to his left. Now Caleb Yanoski will blast it back on the far side in the direction of Thatcher Wilson. But Thatcher pulls it down, sends it forward. Harry Radcliffe on the run, and the play ruled offsides. He had both Radcliffe and Ryan Rockwell on a clean break, but they went a little bit too quick. And a free kick coming back here on the Uniontown side. Played back in the direction of Ethan Roebuck. Roebuck picking it up, but one off the ball there by Ian Hamilton. Little collision there. Cole Radcliffe went down, trying to regain down the far wing. Big time battle there. Ram 10 finds it though on the Uniontown side. Red Raiders have numbers, but again ruled offsides and the intended pass to Grant Barcheck down the far wing. Mustangs, Cooper Hunts. Actually, we had a foul there. So not ruled off sides. You had a foul there on the Laurel Highland side. But again, and we've complained about this in the past. That's where the advantage should have been played. You had the Red Raiders with a clear opportunity and a scoring opportunity breaking back. Why whistle the play down when they have possession when the foul's against the opposing team? From head coach Scott Fitzpatrick, I'm a little irritated there. 
because they really had a scoring opportunity taken away for no reason. Referee should have let it go and then brought the whistle back once the Mustangs got possession. There's a Red Raider tripped up. That was Levi Gillen that went down. That's the one major difference you notice from the high school game watching other levels of soccer. You don't see the advantage being played much at all in the high school game. It seems to be the lone exception, even other levels of youth soccer. Levi Gillen to take this free kick. With a blast and headed back. As Laurel Highlands, Courtney Weston looks for it down the far side. A couple of changes here on the Uniontown side. Looks like Bakari Wallace checking in for the first time tonight. Good to see Bakari, who's a heck of a basketball player, out here working on his fitness in the fall, playing soccer. Bakari has it right now. Pulling it back to Cal Hospa Davis. Bakari got another touch. And one thing he adds, though, is speed and athleticism out there on the Uniontown side. Now the Mustangs with a break. Nice ball down the far wing. That was Cole Radcliffe on the run, was unable to haul it in. And Wyatt Nails will work it out. Over to Bakari. Playing a little hacky sack with it there. I'm impressed with his soccer skills so far. And he's trying to break down the far side. Looking to clear there, Yanoski for Laurel Highlands. Ram 10 also there with the ball. Mustangs, they'll win it back. Over to Thatcher Wilson. Fitzpatrick steps back in. Got it for the Red Raiders for a moment, but here comes Laurel Highlands in transition again. A little through ball with some speed, trying to free up Courtney Weston. Played back to Wyatt Nails again, who blasts on the far side. Cole Radcliffe trying to knock it down as both Ram 10 and Cooper Gilliland around him. It's played back in Wyatt Nails' direction again. Ball comes into open space here on the near side. Tim Lasick forward here to Ryan Rockwell. Rockwell on a break. Big collision, actually. One of the Red Raider defenders ran into the keeper, Wyatt Nails. Are we going to get a foul here inside the box? Referee's talking things over. We might have a penalty kick here for the Mustangs. So a good opportunity here for Laurel Highlands. You're going to have Ian Hamilton looking for a second of the night, taking the penalty kick from 12 yards out. Here we go, Hamilton versus Nails. Mustangs looking for a 2 to nothing lead. Hamilton looking for the brace, and he finds it. On the high right side, Ian Hamilton, two already. And the Mustangs take advantage have a questionable call inside the box to take a 2-0 lead. That's 23-53 left in the first half. Now Hamilton listed as a central defender for the Mustangs, scores the match's first two goals. And he always plays up on those corner kicks and found the service of Harry Radcliffe on the first. And they used his leg on the PK after a little contact in the box. And there's Bakari Wallace trying to race down the far wing. Ran into Cooper Hunt. And you have to wonder a little bit. You had contact there, but you more or less had 
A couple of Red Raiders running into each other. That's one of those that I think many officials just let go. And I was surprised to some degree to see that called. Nonetheless, the Mustangs take advantage. Now lead by two, 17 minutes in. Bakari losing it there. Mustangs scoop it back up with Tim Lasik and played back on the defensive line to Cooper Hunt. Fitzpatrick trying to step back up there with Cal Hospa Davis. Fitzpatrick trying to spin off of Laurel Highlands. Tanner Bruzdo just checked in, and now Union's had an opportunity coming forward here. Riley Umble, top of the 18, had it deflected back. Mustangs find possession. Bakari Wallace trying to work his way back into the play and wins the ball there from Bruzda. Does roll out of play. Will be Laurel Highland's ball, but again, credit the hustle from Bakari Wallace. He's scrappy. 18 minutes in. Mustangs lob it back into Brusda. Wallace there on the Uniontown side. Comes into open space. And retreating Christian Thomas. Send it back to Wyatt Nails who blasts here on the near side. Parker King down the near wing. Good defense again from Kate and Kaba. Slowing down that run. Parker King will trigger it back in. We have an injury on the far side. Mustang, or Red Raider, excuse me, down. Red Raider down on the far side. Being helped up. Let me get a number on. It's like Isaac Conklin. Give it up for Mr. Isaac Conklin. No, check that. That's that eight or nine on the far side there. That might be eight Cooper Gilliland, excuse me, because Isaac Conklin's still there in front of us. Those eights and nines a little tough to see. In the night sky. A little blast back. Now in the near wing, Thatcher Wilson there for the Mustangs. I'll get called for the foul as Christian Thomas goes down for Union Town. And played back to center off the head of Ram 10. Extracurriculars there again. Free kick now for the Mustangs. Harry Radcliffe to take it, angles it wide. Brother Cole on the run and able to track it down. Almost midway through this first half. Rand Barczak hands it off to Levi Gilland. We'll take the throw in here for the Red Raiders. Levi on the lob. I don't think he ever got it in play. They're going to give him a reload. Mustangs headed off. On the near side, Thatcher Wilson coming back. Touch back over to Harry Radcliffe. Got right his pocket pick. Don't see that very often. Grant Barcheck. No, check that. That was 22. Cal Hospa Davis with the steal. Goes over in Bakari Wallace's direction. And a spin off Tanner Brusda. Now Brusda going shoulder to shoulder there with Sam Fitzpatrick. Another whistle. And the Mustangs with a free kick. Cooper Hunt to take it. 1906 left here in the first half. Hunt on the lob down the near wing. Picked up there by the keeper Wyatt Nails. Picked up by Wyatt Nails. 
Lyon sends it out to Ram 10. I was looking there for Parker King. Good block there from the Mustangs. Now Harry Radcliffe skies it high. Thatcher Wilson trying to track it down, and Ram 10 takes the safe route there, sending it out of play. Mustangs go quickly, back in. It's back to Radcliffe. Wilson looking for a touch. Knocked down there by Yanoski, who sends it wide on the far side. Took that from about 40 yards out. A pretty good look. With 18 minutes left here in the first half. Rolled back out to Thatcher Wilson. Thatcher sends it off to Cole Radcliffe. Rule that offsides. And a yellow might get issued here. We'll wait and see. So no card action taken. Be a Red Raider free kick taken by Levi Gilland. Another whistle here at midfield would be a handball there off of Cooper Hunt. Actually, no, that was off of Ruva Caba. 20. Ram 10 will take this free kick around the edge of the Laurel Highland zone. Ram with a pretty good boot to the top of the box. Mustangs Brusda. And win it back over there to Tim Lasick. Nice Ruled off of Laurel Highlands and out. Red Raiders trying to go quickly. Mustangs find the loose ball. Yanoski in the direction of Thatcher Wilson. Ruva Caba. Had Radcliffe there, went through and back to the keeper, Wyatt Nails. And Wyatt will take it out for another goal kick. Brian Rozak alongside Jerry Dupe. Nice to have you along with us here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Our coverage tonight brought to you by the Sprouse Insurance Group in Uniontown. Agent David Hughes, United Bank, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law. Jason Scott, South Union Township Supervisor. Southwestern Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI in Uniontown. Zebley Mahalov and White, Uniontown Business and Bankruptcy Attorneys. South Union Township Supervisors, Robert Schiff Bauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. Chessler's Fine Furniture, 601 Pittsburgh Road, Uniontown, in front of the Fayette Plaza. And the Laurel Highlands Boys Soccer Boosters. 15-18 left here in this first half. Two goals from Ian Hamilton on the Laurel Highland side. The difference tonight, one off of a corner kick and the other on a penalty kick. Uniontown looking for a little possession time. Isaac Conklin deflected out of bounds. Kyle Hospa Davis, a little collision there. Parker, <coughs> excuse me, Parker King holding it back there to Isaac Conklin. Ram 10 stepping in. Thatcher Wilson on the Laurel Highlands side. Knocked down by Tim Lasick looking for Radcliffe. And an offsides whistle again. With 14 25 left before halftime. Mustang still leading it 2-0. Ram 10 a header. Looking for Riley Umble. Played back to Ian Hamilton. Little block down there from Rocco Fuhrer. Cooper Hunt back to Hamilton. Red Raiders get possession back. Christian Thomas 
out of his own zone. Christian lobbing it off to Ethan. No, oh, check that two. That was Rocco Fuhr, actually number three down on the far wing. Numbers on that far side get a little tougher to pick up here in dusk. Down to Ram 10. Play whistle down again, and we'll have a free kick here for Uniontown. A good scoring opportunity here for the Red Raiders, about 25 yards out. Ram 10 to take it. Here's Ram 10, 25 yards out, free kick for the Red Raiders, setting the troops. And Ram with a blast, just sent it high and wide on the near side. See our buddy John McCune here with his grandson Michael tonight. Mr. McCune, glad you could make it today. Mr. McCune, glad you could make it. And goal kick taken here by. Luke Simpson played down on the near side. Mustangs looking for a break. Good run from Thatcher Wilson looking for the cross. Christian Thomas defending. Wyatt Nails will blast it back on the Union Town side. Ram 10 for a run down the near wing. Rolled back again to Luke Simpson. 11.41 left here in the first half. And Isaac Conklin. On the near side, a little body bump. And going out of play. Goal kick back to Luke Simpson again. A little contact. He had Radcliffe over the back of Ram 10. Harry picking up the foul. And Ram 10 will have a free kick here about 41 yards out with 10.48 left in the first half. Ten, a pretty good boot into the box. Played back down by Tim Lasick. Body down by Tanner Brusden and played back again to Luke Simpson. Simpson trying to play it out on the far side. Grant Barcheck there on the Union Town side. Going through Cal Hospa Davis. Mustangs trying to set it up again to Thatcher Wilson. This is the first time that I remember the high school's soccer season actually starting with games prior to Labor Day weekend. They always play Labor Day weekend usually is the kickoff. But the WPIL moving up the start date for high school soccer by about five days this year, allowing games to start a little early. And why not? You played high school football last Friday. Might as well play a little soccer this week as well before Labor Day. Let these teams get the games in while the weather's nice. Mustangs looking for another break. Gotten two from Ian Hamilton so far tonight. Looking for another one before halftime. There's Thatcher Wilson. Shaking and baking back. Staying within the box. Crossing far side. Knocked down. Deflected back to the top of the 18. Laurel Highlands had Courtney Weston there. Wasn't able to get a piece of it. Try to reset again. Off to Wilson. Who was, able, who was unable to keep it in play. On the near boundary. 
Down 8.45. Left here in the first half. That one ruled off of Radcliffe and out. Evi Gillen taking the throw in. That one going off of Ruva Kaba and out. Once again, Levi reloads. Get it off another header. Thatcher playing it back. Was trying to set up Courtney Weston. Mustangs lost it though out of play again. A 10 to play before halftime. Body down there by Janoski. Chip back by Cal Hospa Davis. And then Hamilton gets it on his foot and sends it back to Luke Simpson, who plays it back to center. Little knock down there from Cooper Gilland. And offsides on the attempted break again from Thatcher Wilson. With 7.42 left before halftime. Christian Thomas to take this free kick for Union Town. Thomas, pretty good boot. Riley Umble knocking it down, but the Mustangs find possession again with Harry Radcliffe. Back to Yanoski. Intended there for Ryan Rockwell. Loses it out of play. They should have a foul there against the Mustangs. Free kick. A line drive coming back. Deflected off a of Cal Hospa Davis. Look out here. Another play whistle down, and we're going to have a card here behind the play. Yellow card coming out. I think they're going to get Harry Radcliffe. Well, it's been a chippy game so far tonight. The Radcliffe booked, unless they change the rules in the offseason, he'll have to check out for five minutes, but he's staying on the field, so maybe that was a rule change in the offseason. Prior to this year, anytime you got a yellow card, you had to check out for a five-minute period. Have the yellow card here, the 645 mark of the first. And that yellow card actually might have been on the Red Raiders. Was a Uniontown Red. So they are saying it was a Uniontown yellow card. Appreciate the confirmation down there. Then you wonder why they didn't play the advantage coming back. Because you had the Mustangs on the ball when the play was whistled down. Did we get who picked up the yellow card? That's some folk fan saying exactly. Ram 10 then on the yellow card? Is that what you guys are saying? Ram 10, they said, got booked. As we go under six minutes left here in the first half. Harry coming back. And a little break here on the... Union Town sign as Parker King trying to make his way down the near wing. Deflected out of play. Sam Fitzpatrick triggered back in. Mustangs find it and blast it out of play there. I can't roll the Cava. Five twenty. Left here in the first half. A couple of changes upcoming now for Laurel Highlands. You're going to have Weston and Thatcher Wilson exiting. And checking in Evan O'Brien. Along with Cole Radcliffe back in. Cole now here on the near wing. A good ball played forward, and this is Evan O'Brien, an opportunity. O'Brien top of the box, a little contact. 
And O'Brien's going to pick up the foul. They're going to say he initiated the contact there with Christian Thomas. And Thomas will get the free kick coming back. Now an opportunity here for the Red Raiders. Hamilton defending, playing it back to Luke Simpson, who angles it wide to take a little heat out of the kitchen. Now the Mustangs, some good ball movement here coming through center. Tim Lasick on it. Good little leave down the far side for Ryan Rockwell. They're going to whistle this one down again. You know, a lot of offsides tonight. Three forty-five left before halftime. Levi Gillen taking this free kick. Blasted down the far boundary. It's going to be, well, it should have been a handball. Never actually heard the whistle, but I think it was everybody who was around saw it. And the Mustangs will get a free kick coming back. That one going in the direction of Evan O'Brien. Now Rockwell on the run. Good little switch back there from Grant Barcheck to get it out of the zone. Hamilton playing a little hacky sack with it. Tim Lasick a touch. Deflected off over to Harry Radcliffe. Harry, a pretty little move there off to his left to get around Sam Fitzpatrick. Try to break back and another whistle. Another foul on Uniontown. So they're not playing the advantage at all tonight. Now Harry will get a free kick here from 45 yards out. We knew after he hit a 53-yard field goal, he has the leg to get it there, and a nice little line drive goes right on to Wyatt Nails. Under two minutes left here in the first half, Nails a good boot back to center. That one played out by Cooper Gilliland. Mustangs try to reload, looking for Harry Radcliffe down the near wing. Bodied back over to Tim Lasick. Lasick dancing all over the place. Back in the direction of Harry from the corner, looking for the cross. Out in front, little collision. One-time attempt, and just sent wide there by Rockwell. He had bruised on the first opportunity. Got block, blocked down, and then Rockwell in the follow just sent it wide. For the Mustangs, we'll get a corner kick here as Harry Radcliffe will take it with 110 left here in the first half. Watch for Hamilton again on the far post. Scored off of one of these earlier. Harry with the service. This one too far. All the way across and outs. And a fun one to watch through almost 40 minutes. Tween Hamilton goals the difference so far. That ball coming loose in the box again. Look out there. Opportunity for Evan O'Brien. Played back Radcliffe. Little spinner there. Gets it again and sends it high. With 25 seconds left here in the first half. I think Uniontown at this point might be content just taking it into the locker room. 15 seconds left. And Nails is going to take his time. He'll go short over to Gilliland. And that'll do it for one half of soccer. So two Ian Hamilton goals the difference here with a break. A 2-0 lead for Laurel Highlands over Uniontown. We'll be back with the second half in just a couple of minutes here on the South Union Township Sports Network.
key to success in life is teamwork. On and off the field, in the workplace, in the home, in our schools. Teamwork gets it done. The world of competitive sports offers many good things, the most important of which is teamwork. Individual talent may win a few games, but teamwork wins championships. Go team! Go Royal Highlands Mustangs! This positive message has been brought to you and paid for by Jason Scott. on having a successful soccer season this year. This is Dr. Fraser Stokes with the colorectal cancer screening update. 53,000 Americans die of colorectal cancer each year, making it the second leading cause of cancer deaths. Colon cancer arises from polyps, and removing polyps during the colonoscopy prevents cancer. The most common symptom is no symptom, as bleeding, abdominal pain, bowel habit changes, and weight loss often occur when the cancer is advanced. Learn more at swgispecialists.com. Personal injury can come in many forms. No matter what your injury, the attorneys at Davis & Davis will personally meet with you to discuss your case, just like we have over the last 40 years. Trust your case to a local, experienced legal team. Trust Davis & Davis. Bad day at the office? Bad day behind the wheel? Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your Erie agent in Uniontown and Ross Traver Township is Sprowls Insurance Group. 724-437-9812 or go to SprowlsInsurance.com. Erie Rate Lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage. It's not... Are you tired of looking at the same old furniture day in and day out? Let Chesler's Fine Furniture work their magic. Chesler's offers the finest in name brand home furnishings by famous manufacturers. Plus, accent pieces that underline your unique sense of style. And they are all sale priced. There are living room suits by King Hickory, Lancer, Craftmaster, Lazy Boy, and Best Chair. Each offering a distinct flair of comfort and design in many styles and fabrics. The largest selection of metal dinettes by Douglas. And dining sets in your choice of finishes and woods. Chesler's has exceptional bedding by White Dove and Imperial in your choice of size and firmness. Chesler's Fine Furniture also offers genuine Lazy Boy recliners and living room suits for pure relaxing comfort. In addition, you can count on Chesler's for friendly, courteous service, delivery, and layaway. Credit terms are available with up to six months the same as cat. This is Dr. Fraser Stokes with the colon cancer screening update. If you have no close family member with colorectal cancer or precancerous polyps, you are at average risk and should begin screening at age 45. Colonoscopy is the most sensitive screening test and only needs done every 10 years. Stool fit testing and Cologuard are usually effective screening options with fit testing done yearly and Cologuard done every three years. Learn more at swgispecialist.com.
Back here at Uniontown High School, halftime, the Laurel Highlands Mustangs, a 2-0 lead over the Uniontown Red Ridge, a pair of Ian Hamilton goals, the first coming off of a corner kick at the 31-31 mark of the first half to give the Mustangs a 1-0 lead. Harry Ratcliffe with the service there, and then Hamilton scoring on a penalty kick as well at the 23-53 mark of the first half. Ram 10 was issued a yellow card at the 6:45 mark of the first that's pretty much it for the first half action. The Laurel Highlands girls opened up their season earlier on tonight as well with a 6-0 win over the Uniontown Red Raiders. So a good start on the Mustangs' side. And the Laurel Highlands boys will try to make it 33 straight wins over Uniontown in this series by hanging on in the second half. But still 40 minutes of soccer upcoming. And again, I'd like to thank our sponsors here on the South Union Township Sports Network, the Sprouse Insurance Group, and Agent David Hughes, United Bank, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, Smith Lewis Chess, CPAs in Union Town, Jason Scott, South Union Township Supervisor, Southwestern Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI in Union Town, Dr. Calabrese, Ruth Hart, Stokes and Hoppy, Zebley Mahal of White, Union Town Business and Bankruptcy Attorneys, South Union Township Supervisors, Robert Schiff, Bauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Chessler's Fine Furniture, 601 Pittsburgh Road, Uniontown in front of the Fayette Plaza and the Laurel Highlands Boys Soccer Boosters. Again, 2 nothing Laurel Highlands over Uniontown here at the break. Second half match action comes your way next here on the South Union Township Sports Network. is not something that anyone wants to do. Good people sometimes run into hard times, and they need help. Hi, I'm Dan White with the law offices of Zebley, Mahalov and White, and I'm here to help. If you're faced with insurmountable debt and are out of options and you need help, give our office a call today. Allow us to help you understand your rights and options under the law. Filing bankruptcy is not the end of the road, and if you're struggling with debt, it very well could be a new beginning. So stop worrying and take action. Give our office a call today at 724-439-9200 or click on zeblaw.com for more information. Zebley, Mahalov and White, local attorneys helping local people. Let us help you fix your life. Are you tired of looking at the same old furniture day in and day out? Let Chesler's Fine Furniture work their magic. Chesler's offers the finest in name brand home furnishings by famous manufacturers. Plus, accent pieces that underline your unique sense of style. And they are all sale priced. There are living room suits by King Hickory, Lancer, Craftmaster, Lazy Boy, and Best Chair. Each offering a distinct flair of comfort and design in many styles and fabrics. The largest selection of metal dinettes by Douglas. And dining sets in your choice of finishes and woods. Chesler's has exceptional bedding by White Dove and Imperial in your choice of size and firmness. Chesler's Fine Furniture also offers genuine Lazy Boy recliners and living room suits for pure relaxing comfort. In addition, you can count on Chesler's for friendly, courteous service, delivery, and layaway. Credit terms are available with up to six months the same as cat. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad because people are busy these days at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank at your service. Back here at Bill Power Stadium, just about ready to start the second half. Back here at Bill Power Stadium, just about ready to start the second half. The Laurel Highlands Mustangs, a 2 to nothing lead over the Uniontown Red Raiders. We mentioned 
Tonight, the opening night of boys' high school soccer section play. Albert Gallatin at Ringgold, Bethel Park at Thomas Jefferson, Connellsville at Trinity. Conference looking very tough this year. Bethel Park moving down from 4A to 3A. Always an extremely strong program. Thomas Jefferson seems to be a contender year in and year out. Ringgold and Trinity. Certainly teams to contend with. Connellsville and Albert Gallatin improving programs. And, of course, Laurel Highlands and Uniontown here. Be another grind to get into the postseason. Red Raiders working left to right as we describe it here in the second half. A little early pressure from the Mustangs. And Cole Radcliffe sending it off to his right. It was intended there for Courtney Weston and deflected back into the midfield where Cooper Hunt picks it up there for Laurel Highlands. Cooper down to Tim Lasick. Near touchline, Cole Radcliffe, a little miscommunication there with Cooper Hunt. Ball will go out of play, and Uniontown will have a quick throw in. It's taken there by Grant Barcheck. They'll try to set it up here to Rocco Fuhrer down the near wing. Go all the way through and out for a goal kick here on the Laurel Highland side. Taken there by Luke Simpson off the body of Cole Radcliffe and out on the near side. Another throw in for the Mustangs. Hunt to take it. Through Harry, on to Cole. And played forward on the run there to Courtney Weston. Never able to track it down. Barcheck resets on the near side, looking for Christian Thomas. And a little pressure here from Thatcher Wilson. Look out. Wilson towards the goal. Sends it into the back of the net to make a 3 to nothing Laurel Highlands. So Thatcher Wilson getting his first of the season. Here at the 38-23 mark of the second half. And the Mustangs go up three to nothing. Now Union's had a lot of work to do to get out of this hole. Barcheck here on the near side. Blocked down. And on the break again, look out. Weston chipping it. Saved by Nails. Barely kept that one out. And the Mustangs with a lot of energy coming out of the locker room. Mustangs taking the throw in. Goes off of Tim Lasick's head and out. Isaac Conklin reloads for Uniontown. Mustangs, though, find the loose ball. It's Thatcher Wilson again. Trying to turn it up on the far side. Red Raiders knock it down and play it back to center with a break here from Riley Umble. Umble trying to leave it off there for Rocco Fuhrer. Can never track it down. It goes back to Luke Simpson again. Made back to center. Christian Thomas skies it. He's going to step up into the play as well. Headed there by Fuhrer. It's deflected out on the near side. Barcheck to take the throw in. Angles it back to Riley Umble. A little push there between Cooper Hunt and Rocco Fuhrer. As the ball goes out of play, you throw in for Union Sounds, Riley Umble. Umble to the top of the box to Ram 10, and lost it there to Cole Radcliffe, who sends it down the far wing. Good run for Ryan Rockwell. Rockwell trying to get around a Red Raider defender. A little slide tackle there on the back side. 
by Christian Thomas. Broke up that attempt from Rockwell. Thomas lobs it back in. The captain armband. A little collision back through center. Red Raiders still on the break. Look out here. Two on one. Coming way out there. Simpson, a good little poke back here on the near side. Red Raiders, though, still buzzing. Rocco Fuhrer. Stepping up. Tim Lasick. Trying to go low. Was looking for Thatcher Wilson. Deflected out of play. Cole Radcliffe takes the throw in. Back to Lasik. No room to his right. Tries to go back to his left. And lost it there to Rocco Fuhrer. Lasik commits the foul. Was grabbing his jersey. Got a little piece of his arm as well. Uniontown trying to race back. Good run. Set up by Rulva Kaba. Down the far side again to Rockwell. Rulva Kaba again. And the Red Raiders a little poke on the counterattack. On the far wing. A little break up there from Cooper Hunts. Red Raiders to make a change. Like you're going to have Parker King checking out. And coming in, number seven, Ethan Roebuck. Mustangs get a little break up. You got Ian Hamilton on his horse coming back through center. Showing he can play on both sides of the ball. Deflected out on the near side. Cole Radcliffe wants it. Trying to go quickly. It might be Uniontown ball here. I think the Mustangs did touch it last year on the near side. Maybe not. We have a substitution slowing it down on the Laurel Highland side. You have Lasik coming out. And Tanner Bruzda checking back in. I think you had Cole Radcliffe going over the line there on the throw in, but you had about three lines in a row. Easy to get mixed up down there. Especially on, especially on these multi use fields. And now Cole gets tripped up. Sam Fitzpatrick picks up the foul. Mustangs go quickly. Look out here. Ryan Rockwell was sprung. He scooped up by Wyatt Nails. Mustang showing some pretty good speed there with Wilson, Weston, Cole Radcliffe, Ryan Rockwell on that front line. Laid back here to Ruva Kaba. Another whistle. Had a lot of them tonight. 32-25 left in regulation time. Mustangs in control. Up three to nothing. Brian Morozak alongside Jerry Dupe. Starting to feel those fall nights. Jerry getting the jacket on already. And played back to center. Blast there from Barcheck. Header from Ruva Kaba. And Simpson with the scoop up. Simpson on the lob might go to the Mustang bench, and it will. She hit the tent. Isaac Conklin takes the throw and going the other way. He's looking there for Riley Umble. Ram 10 stepping in. He's on a yellow card right now. 10 trying to circle his way back. Mustangs deflected out. Surprised we even see more of Bakari Wallace tonight. Look good out there for about a 10 minute stretch. You look to see more of him in the second half. Yes, 
This one goes to the top of the 18. Was attended there for Rocco Fuhrer. Mustangs break it up. And here's Thatcher Wilson running back. And here's Cole Radcliffe coming free. Play should be on sides, but Christian Thomas gets back defensively for Uniontown to slow down the freshman's run. Goes back in an open space here on the near side to Barchak again. Grant Barchak with a slide tackle attempt there from Thatcher Wilson. Now Harry Ratcliffe steps in to help out as well. Down the near boundary for his brother Cole, who plays it off to his right, but offsides again. On the play down to Courtney Weston. Red Raiders get the free kick coming back. Levi Gillen to take it. Low ball. Ram 10 knocks it down. Mustangs headed back. Trying to get it on to Weston. Radcliffe had a little run. Big time collision. Now Red Raider down. Injury stoppage. That was a hard collision there between Radcliffe and Levi Gillen. And Harry's going to pick up the yellow card this time. It's 29.50 left in regulation time. First yellow issued on the Mustangs. Ram 10 picked one up in the first half on the Uniontown side. Parker King to take this free kick now for the Red Raiders. The clock stopped in 29.50 left here in the second half. Levi Gillen remaining on the field. And Gillen stepped up after Radcliffe had a big run. I think Harry was just trying to keep his momentum going down the field, trying to set up a little scoring opportunity. And he'd go and step in. That's what allowed the collision to take place. Mustangs find the loose ball. Courtney West, another low one coming through. Look out here. Thatcher Wilson on the run. Thatcher Wilson, top of the 18. The blast into the back of the net. Thatcher Wilson, his second of the night. And it's 4-0 Laurel Highlands. What a run there. Goal coming at the 29-16 mark of the second. And the Mustangs added their cushion. Well executed by the Mustangs. So two from Wilson, two from Hamilton tonight. A couple of braces out there for Laurel Highlands. Uniontown trying to regroup. Sam Fitzpatrick off to Ram 10. 29 minutes of soccer remaining. Pushing and shoving, continuing there. You had Isaac Conklin in the back of a Mustang. Might have been Dominic Georgiana who just checked in. And Georgiana, no check that. That's Thatcher Wilson. Thatcher Wilson coming forward here looking for the hat trick. It's deflected. Ball still loose. Wilson still on it. And the Red Raiders get out of their own zone. Janoski looking for Lasik. Sam Fitzpatrick stepping up on the Uniontown side, but Hamilton getting back defensively, and Hamilton just covers so much ground out there for Laurel Highlands. Versatile player on the back line, but really could play anywhere on the field. Goes off a of Ram 10. Back to Levi Gilland. Now Cabo retreating. Over to Simpson, blasted back out. Played high there from Sam Fitzpatrick. Mustangs find the loose ball again. A little settle, Lasik goes low, trying to spring Cole Radcliffe down the near wing. Cole battling Cooper Gilliland. Played back 25 yards out. Wilson the blast, and he gets the hat trick. Thatcher Wilson 
Hattrick goal. Give him some credit up here in the PA. Hattrick for the guy. Give him some credit. He got a hat trick. <laughs> Thatcher Wilson, come on, give him a shout out. There we go. Five nothing Mustangs. Cooper Hunts playing it back to Luke Simpson. Yanoski out of his own zone. Mustangs Hamilton trying to take the safe route here. We'll angle it back. Wilson showing he has a shot, though. Trying to break Weston now. Christian Thomas back through center, some fancy dribbling. Lasik trying to come forward. Nothing there. Red Raiders let it go. Mustang girls won six to nothing earlier over Uniontown. Boys up five to nothing here. Looking at the schedule ahead, the Mustangs play there. First home game against Thomas Jefferson coming up on Thursday night, 7.30 varsity start there. We'll have a couple of non-conference games in the Fayette County tournament over the weekend. Bet Center and Betworth on Saturday. And back at home next Tuesday against Bethel Park. Certainly be a tough game for the Mustangs. A couple of changes here. Bakari Wallace back in, checking in for Rocco Fuhrer. Another conference game next Thursday, a week from Thursday at Ringgold. And three home games the following week against University High, Connellsville, and Albert Gallatin. Well, nice local matchups there. These two schools will meet again September 22nd in Laurel Highlands High School. For Uniontown, they're back in action Thursday night at Albert Gallatin. Another local game. I think we have... An injury stoppage here. You might have Ram 10 got dinged up in front of the Uniontown bench, and he just checked out. And Christian Thomas checked back in. Mustangs pulled back up to Tim Lasik. Lasik back into the box. Little cross out in front, and a shot into the back of the net. Again, that's four. For Thatcher Wilson. Makes it six to nothing. So a four goal night for Thatcher Wilson. It's still 25 06 left here in the second half. It'll be a running clock the rest of the way. She had Hamilton, both goals in the first half, and now Wilson, four here in the second half. They've opened up the floodgates. Here's Bakari Wallace unable to track it down. And here's Ian Hamilton looking for a hat trick for himself as well, two in the first half. And able to track that one down. And Hamilton's not a kid that gets too many opportunities for hat tricks. Mentioned playing on that back line, but so versatile. Score the first off a corner kick and the second on a penalty kick. Now they'll give him a shot a little bit here on the front line. Maybe get the hat trick and probably get him out of there. If I'll lob back and Simpson. Juggled it. Bakari Wallace came close to scoring there for Uniontown. Simpson with a bobble able to regain. And that would have probably brought the house down on the Uniontown side if Wallace would have gotten a goal. That just shows the hustle. Sometimes it can pay off. Almost did that time for Bakari. Offsides there for Hamilton, clearly behind the last defender. A 
There's a little blast coming back from Levi Gilland. Hamilton a little header. Out of play. Cooper Gillen will reload. Chip four by Cal Hospa Davis. Back on a Bakari. Hospa Davis again. Gets swung back in the Mustangs' direction. Wilson has four. Could he get five? Trying to set up Ian Hamilton on the run. Hamilton, good battle there, and he's going to get called for the foul. Not sure how, that was as much of a foul as Uniontown's defender. Levi Gillen just going down nonetheless. Hamilton called for the infraction. Free kick coming back the other side. Until 22-42 left on the clock. You have Gillen taking the free kick. Nice little boot down the near wing. Looking for Bakari Wallace. Tim Lasick coming back. Hamilton trying to find it. Back to Bakari. Looking for Riley Umble off to his left. Umble finds the ball. Bakari's offsides. Gets back on. Umble stays with it. And to feed it off on the far wing. Red Raiders knock it down. Look to center. Going over the line and out of play for a Mustang goal kick. A few more changes out there. At center. Low ball there from Bruzda. Down the far wing, no one home. Go back to the keeper, Wyatt Nails. And Nails lobs it back to center. Bakari, little header coming forward. Should have been a handball. It is a handball there on Bakari. He can dribble it starting in December. Not here, still in August. It was down to Hamilton. He was offsides. All these guys cherry picking a little bit. Thomas resets. Goes off a of LASIK. Picked up by Harry Radcliffe, angling for Hamilton. Goes over to Ethan Roebuck. Radcliffe lobs it in. Into open space. 1917 left here in the second half. Again, 6 0 in favor of Laurel Highlands over Union Town. Hamilton back to Harry Radcliffe. Harry sends it top of the 18. Red Raiders try to knock it down. Actually got deflected back to the keeper. Wyatt nails and almost set up an opportunity there for Ian Hamilton.
Hamilton laying it back to Lasical. A give and go with Hamilton. And he's looking for the hat trick. Low shot into the back of the net. And he gets the hat trick. So you have Wilson with four and Hamilton with a hat trick. And those two have accounted for all seven goals. So Hamilton and Wilson. As we go under 18 minutes left in regulation time. Red Raiders hung with the Mustangs in the first half. It was only 2-0 at the break. Grant Barczak down the near side. Chip back over to Hospa Davis. If you look at the one penalty kick goal that Hamilton scored as well, of course, that was a controversial play inside the box. You don't get that call in your direction. You'll be sitting at 1 0 at halftime. The Mustangs' fitness level rising here in the second half. In good shape right now, up seven. The running clock the rest of the way. Of Simpson here with a goal kick on the Laurel Highlands side. And this will be the 33rd straight win in the series for Laurel Highlands over Uniontown. Red Raiders last won a game over the Mustangs back in 04. It's been a while to say the least going back 18 years. Here's Bruzda. Good little setup down the near side to Evan O'Brien. Red Raiders to take a throw in here. Cooper Gillen sends it in. Chip there from Janoski. Over to Lasik. Tim Lasik down the near wing. And no one home here on the near side. So Mustangs coached again this year by Jerry Rogers Sr., assisted by his son, Jerry Rogers, Jr., Josh Nairn, also an assistant. Danny Marzano, the head coach of the girls' team. His wife, Tammy, his assistant. Vernon Chandler, also on the staff here for the boys. Bill Logue, the Mustang trainer. Mark John, of course, the Mustang athletic director. It's Harry Radcliffe with a blast in the back of the net. He hit that one from about 40 yards out. Gets his first of the season. In a 53-yard field goal on Friday, 40-yard soccer goal tonight. And boy, does he have a leg. Fourteen thirty left. Mustangs might want to try to save some of these goals for Thursday nights, offsides called there on the run down from Evan O'Brien. The Mustangs will take on Thomas Jefferson Thursday. We'll have more action for you hopefully next week on the network. We'll post our schedule as soon as we finalize a few things. few more changes on each side here. I think you'll see more of that over the final 14 minutes here. Yeah. 
Raider Raiders a little chip there from Rocco Fuhrer. Trying to spring Riley Umble, who's on the break. Here's Riley Umble, just sending it high. Good opportunity there for Riley Umble. Now you'll have Simpson and the goal kick here on the Laurel Highland side. And Luke will blast it out. Red Raiders trying to free up Umble again. Down the near wing, tended there for Grant Barchek, a little bit too far and out of play. Final 11.45. Mustangs with a free kick here. Caleb Janoski to take it. Little boot down. Mustangs a little break. Shot just going high and wide. And that was Cole Radcliffe. Looking for his first varsity goal. After his brother Harry scored the last one. Uniontown takes the throw. Dominic Georgiana now in the match number five. Was going to throw it in. Rule a Uniontown throw. Red Raiders get possession back, and there's Bakari Wallace. I turn back to the near side. Running into Yanoski. Yanoski breaking back down the near wingers. Caleb Yanoski. Nice run here for Laurel Highlands. A little body contact there with Sam Fitzpatrick. Stays with it. Yanoski cross out in front. And a nice save from Wyatt Nails. On the shot there from Evan O'Brien. Nine thirty-nine left. There's Hospa Davis trying to break back. Run slowed down there by Rulva Cabo, who sends it down the far wing. Mustangs trying to set it up. A lot of the Red Raiders a little gassed right now. 9-10 to play. Ball going out on the far side. Rolled Union Town's ball. Christian Thomas took the throw and got deflected out, and he'll get it back. And Thomas reloads, soft little lob there. Played off there, Brady, Brody Baker. Getting his first varsity action, wearing number 23. Good to see Brody out there. An opportunity again for Evan O'Brien, top of the box, battling there with Hudson Scott, another freshman. The Mustangs starting to empty the bench. 8-18 to play. Yanoski still out there. 
And played back by Sean Maggert, Jr. Deep roster for the Mustangs. I see a lot of kids coming out. Makari Wallace. Over to Grant Barcheck. Mustangs winning the ball. Pull it off of Grant and outs. A few more changes. He'll get Yanoski out of here. Along with Ruva Kaba, they play most of the way. The clock continues to roll. We under 7.30 left. Little header there from Cooper Gilland. Thomas on that back line. Cooper circles it back. A couple Mustangs trip him up. We play on. Referee's letting it go with 7.07 to play. Slowed down there by Braden Hall. Low ball. Going past Hudson Scotts. And back to Wyatt Nails. Settled in EJ Dolphy into the game for the first time as well in the Uniontown set. His dad was a former coach here. Makari Wallace. Battling Yanoski is still out there on the Laurel Highlands side. Brody Baker stepping in. A lot of freshmen out there right now for the Mustangs. And there was no junior varsity games due to the lack of roster numbers for both the Uniontown girls and boys just playing a varsity-only schedule this year. Another break here for Laurel Highlands late. As we go under six minutes, a little shot scooped up there by Wyatt Nails. And Wyatt with the blast back to center. And Bakari Wallace looking for the run. Here's Bakari Wallace. Got past Simpson. But breaking it up was Dominic Georgiana for Laurel Highland. So Wallace twice tonight has come close to scoring for Uniontown. In a way, he plays soccer like he plays basketball. He's around the ball. Hustles for loose balls. Here he is again. Bakari Wallace contact in the box. Bakari staying with it, trying to circle back as Georgiana in front of him. Georgiana goes down. I think they're getting Bakari for a foul there. Let's see. It's going to be a penalty kick. It's going to be a penalty kick for Uniontown. You've got to let Bakari take it. Let's see. 4.41 to play. Clock still rolling. Clock will continue to roll that we're in a mercy rule situation. Who's Union Town going to have to take the penalty kick? To Evan Massey, 19? Simpson the keeper. And Simpson makes the save on the shot attempt. That was actually Fitzpatrick, 18, that took the shot. Sam Fitzpatrick. And Luke Simpson denies him on the penalty kick opportunity. And a card was issued as well to Simpson for taunting. So Simpson issued the yellow for taunting after making the penalty save on Fitzpatrick. And he'll have to check out. His teammates rallying around him, and they should. Heck of a save from Luke Simpson denying Fitzpatrick on the penalty kick. Now the Mustangs have to get a new keeper out there.
trying to find out who the Mustang keeper is. And you're going to actually get a free kick after the yellow here inside the box. So Laurel Highlands could basically make a wall here at the goal line. And Fitzpatrick's going to take it again. So this will be interesting. And you rarely ever see this because normally you'd have a penalty kick situation, but you had a yellow card inside the box. And you have the whole Mustang 11. On the back line, a little touch, collision out in front, and went wide. Mustangs denied him again. Wow. That's something you don't see every day. And Laurel Highland still made the denial defensively. When do you ever see 11 guys on the goal line? Hardly ever. Will still be a corner kick. Sam Fitzpatrick to take it. Has a little lob. Union Town was calling for a handball in the box. They didn't get it. 3.30 to play. Cooper Gillen takes this throw in. Goes back to Yanoski in the corner. Look him out of his own zone. With a blast, Evan O'Brien on the run. Evan O'Brien trying to break back. The Red Raiders old denial. A good little touch off of Grant Barchek. Looking for Bakari Wallace. And the Mustangs able to lob it back. And another whistle. Staying chippy here with 2.45 to play. We have another card. They stop the clock. There's two balls on the field. Fitzpatrick takes the free kick. Mustangs make the save. We've not got confirmation yet who the new keeper is for Laurel Highlands. If anybody is listening and knows out there, feel free to pass it along. Evan O'Brien just got decked. Surprised they would not call anything there. He just got rolled over. I know it's late, but you still have to call that. Now Brian's just sitting out there and they're letting play continue on. He's going to get up to avoid an injury stoppage. And you'll have nails blasted back to center. Another run down the far side. And a chip just going into the side of the goal. And down to 130 to play. Mustang still buzzing. Another little cross. Evan O'Brien unable to track it down. With 115 to play. You had the Laurel Highlands girls a 6-0 win earlier. Boys up 8-0. Four goals from Thatcher Wilson. Three from Ian Hamilton and one from Harry Ratcliffe tonight on the Laurel Highlands side. Yanoski sending that one wide. Again, the Mustangs in action at home on Thursday against Thomas Jefferson. Uniontown at Albert Gallatin on Thursday. Here's Bruzda coming back with a blast. Save made there. Nails. O'Brien looking for the chip in. Went off the football crossbar. He also had Connor D'Amico in the mix as well. Number one. And 30 seconds left. And again, hopefully we'll have more Laurel Highland soccer action for you next week. These will be our only two games we'll bring you this week just due to some other obligations. 
10 seconds left. Connor D'Amico knocks it down. And that'll do it. An 8-0 win for Laurel Highlands over Uniontown to open up the WPIL high school soccer season tonight. 8-0, Laurel Highlands over Uniontown. Tonight's game was brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiff, Bauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband, Armstrong Cable, and our friends at CUTV, including Gary Smith. Again, I'm Brian Morozak with Jerry DuPay. This has been a South Union Township Sports Network presentation. Again, your final score, Laurel Highlands 8 and Uniontown nothing. Oh, thank you.